Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This was one of the easiest sets from CAT 2017 DILR of slot 1. It says that healthy bites is a fast food joint serving three items, burgers, fries and ice cream. It has two employees who prepare the items ordered by the clients. Preparation time is 10 minutes for a burger and two minutes for an order of ice cream. An employee can prepare only one of these items at a time. The fries are prepared in an automatic fryer which can prepare up to three portions of fries at a time. And now if you look at the table, it says that people order three portions of fries, two portions of fries or one portion of fries. So that means for each of these persons, only once the fryer has to be used. So it says that it takes 5 minutes irrespective of the number of portions. So for this also it will take 5 minutes, for this also and this as well. So fries take 5 minutes. The fryer does not need any employee to constantly attend to it. So that means employee time will be used in this and this is a machine time and employee time should not be counted. Similarly, we can ignore the time taken by an employee to start and stop the fryer. Thus, an employee can be engaged in preparing other items. So, if you have to count the time of employees, we will count in the other two activities. In this, the machine automatically does it. So, we, have, we don't have to count that separately. Healthy Bites wishes to serve the orders as early as possible. That is, operation-based questions, you have to deal that, you have to optimize the operations. The next thing that is given to us is individual times in any orders are served as and when ready. However, the order is considered to be completely served only when all the items of that order are served. So if all the items are given to this person, then only the order will be considered served. The table gives the orders of three clients and the times at which they place their orders. Assume that only one client's order can be processed at a given point of time. So, Anish or Bani cannot start preparing the new order while previous order is being prepared. At what time is the order placed by client 1 completely served? Okay. So, in this question, we are given that you have to finish the order of one person, then only serve it to the other person. Okay. Now, this is fairly uh, easy thing to do. Just keep this thing in mind that if you are serving the first client, so burger takes 5-10 minutes. Fries takes 5 minutes and ice cream takes 2 minutes. So we have to serve the first client, right? So obviously we will not start preparing anything for these two people. We will finish the order of this person. So the highest time taken is by burger because this machine will do. Let us say A is preparing burger. So B will try to prepare the ice cream, right? So they will try to do as early as possible. So instead of adding these three, that's the foolish thing to do. If you have to optimize operations, you have to put all people to work. So all three things will start simultaneously. A prepares burger, uh, the fries are in the machine and B prepares ice cream. So in 10 minutes, we can prepare the item and order at, the order will be delivered at 10, 10 a.m. Assume that only one client's order can be processed at a given point of time. So Anish or Pani cannot start preparing a new order while the previous order is being prepared. Now the same condition we need to tell client 3 will be served by what time. Now see we saw that this preparation will go on for 10 minutes. Now we had an option if this condition was not given. So we had an option that B was empty after 2 minutes. We could have started working on the second order but B will not work on it. Okay, So uh, what will happen is they will finish the order at 10 10 then the next order will begin it says two portion of fries that will take five minutes so it will take another five minutes to complete it because we take the higher time so 10 15 this will be completed then the third order will begin at 10 15 burger take 10 minutes and fries take five minutes so the order will take 10 minutes to complete so this order will be completed by 10 25 Now, this condition has changed. The employees are allowed to process multiple orders at a time. So previously what they were doing, first person finishing the task, first order done, then second order. If everything is done, then only they move to the third one. But now they will do multiple tasks at a time. Now see this thing. 
दिस पर्सन कम्स एट टेन ऑर्डर्स बर्गर सो लेट एस ए इज वर्किंग ऑन बर्गर एंड बी इज वर्किंग ऑन द आइसक्रीम now b will be done by 10 to because it will take only 2 minutes when this 10 5 the second order person orders b is free b is free so b will start preparing the ice cream right so b will take 2 minutes to prepare the ice cream a is still working on the burger two portions of fries need to be prepared right so fry will take 5 minutes now although b will finish it in 2 minutes the fries will take 5 minutes so fries will end at 10 10 because we will take the higher time so the order begins at 10 5 and will take 5 minutes so the order will be served by 10 10 10 now the same condition we are given that assume that the fourth client came in only at 10 35 between 10 and 10 30 for how many minutes is exactly one of the employees idle okay so let us draw a timeline i didn't have space so i did a vertical line you can make a horizontal line also so at 10 a and uh, a and b start suppose we will ignore this part the fries part because that is being prepared by the machine so a picks up the burger so a will be engaged till 10 10 A is engaged. Now B picks up the ice cream, and B is engaged till ten two. So B is engaged till two. Now ten five, another ice cream comes up. B will pick this order. So from B was idle till five, and now till seven, B is engaged. Right in preparing ice cream. So this time he was idle. Now he is engaged. Now at ten seven, another person comes up. So B will start working on this order. okay so from 7 till 17 b will be engaged after this a is idle and b is also idle now the question is between 10 and 10:30 for how many minutes is exactly one of the employees idle now if you see here a is engaged till here and b is also engaged this portion one of the employees is idle so what is this duration 3 minutes then from 10 to 17 for this portion 7 minutes a is idle right now after 17 both are idle but we will not count it is saying that exactly one of the employees should be idle so the total time is 3 plus 7 which is 10 minutes so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions